Right. I hope the initial AI gun prep and service video was a help to you. As a bit of an addition to that, and to give a bit of context to some of the things that I've put in the kit I've got for sale, I thought I'd just explain how and where I use hemostats or forceps. Now, semen deliveries can be a bit of a daunting prospect. I've not got a cryo cube or a delivery flask here at the minute, so I've improvised with a bean tin and a lid. Um, your cryo cubes or dry or vapor shippers, by virtue of the name, don't contain liquid nitrogen. So your stored semen in there is ever so slightly warmer than the liquid nitrogen in your flask. So bear in mind, you've got a propensity for your straws that are delivered to boil out of your canister because the temperature is different. Um, I'll try and show you some ways around it and where I use the forceps. So because I typically deal with deliveries on my own and because you've got a bung or a lid to remove from your delivery shipper as well as your own flask, I'll show you how I do it and use forceps to try and save myself a bit of time. I'll just stick a head torch on so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Right, I'll remove my bung. I will lift the canister I want to be delivering into, hopefully you can see, and I'll only just bring it into the neck of the flask so it's well down below the frost line and still in a good vapor keep my straws correct. I then use another component in my kit, some long reach tweezers so I can get well down in the neck of the flask with my delivered semen. I'll come to my shipper, remove its bung or plug, replace it, put my delivered straws in their pot into my flask. Now, once I've done that, I'll take my AI gun, place it on top of the straws I've just had delivered to help hold them down as I gently lower the canister into the bottom of my flask. If you do that gently and just watch as it goes through the top line of the, the uh, liquid nitrogen, you can see whether it's going to boil or not. Then lower right into the bottom of your flask, leave it there in the liquid nitrogen, put all your gear back out of your hands, put your canister back on its hook, just have a quick look to see if anything's floating, which it shouldn't be. Replace your bung nice and gently to avoid any liquid nitrogen loss. Um, in doing all that, you should have mitigated the risk of your straws boiling out of your canister. But obviously once you've got your delivery sorted, box empty, inventory checked, just come back to your flask, check that your straws are still there. You're far better to find out that they're floated now at this instance than when you come to serve a cow. Following on from that, I'll try and explain to you why they float. So the temperature difference in your dry shipper doesn't affect your straws. They're still cryogenically stored. They're still fine. But the delivery pot can be a little bit warmer than the environment in your flask. So as it hits the liquid nitrogen in your flask, the temperature change creates the vapor underneath it and will boil it up out of the canister. It's more of an issue with these solid pots because they've got to be totally submerged in liquid nitrogen before the temperature balances. Now the way the delivery companies get around this, if you can see, is by putting weights in the pot. 95% of the time the weighted correctly they're fine, but there is the occasion where somebody forgets to put a weight in or gets the wrong weight in. As an alternative to those pots, you get this type with the punched hole in that lets the liquid nitrogen in quicker 
so it should reduce the risk of boiling. The only bit I don't like about these is where the holes are punched. You do tend to snag straws if you're moving around. Now I've got popcorn joining in. Um, you can also end up snagging your marker peg in them when you put it in. So just be mindful that not everything is plain sailing. If you've got a peg in there and you try to put straws down the inside of it, it will force your straws out of the hole. Um, yeah, I hope that's given you a bit of an idea. Uh, if it is a benefit to you, do please like, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep trying to put a few more videos up and share it. I've done these videos because I've not found stuff like this when I was learning. And your first delivery is a bit daunting. You think, right, well, we'll get it sorted one way or another. Um, so I'm trying to avoid you the stress. Thank you for watching. Catch up with you soon. What I've realised I've omitted from the main part of the video is if you've got problems and for whatever reason you've either dropped straws in your flask or you've dropped a complete pot or had one float. Don't panic, it's not the end of the world. All your liquid nitrogen delivery companies are well versed in rescuing flasks. Um, what they will do if you've rung them, they will typically either book your next top up in a bit sooner to come and get you sorted out if you're desperate, or it'll get penciled in and done at your next liquid nitrogen delivery. Um, not a particularly difficult process, it just means that you need two or three delivery dewers present. So they will take all of the canisters out of your flask, place them in flasks that are well filled with liquid nitrogen. They will then get a part filled flask, put a funnel in the top, fill the funnel with cotton wool soaked in liquid nitrogen and pour the balance of the contents of your flask through it. What you'll find is your flask has nearly got to be empty before it'll start rattling. You know you've got a pot or straws in there. So at the very last minute, your straws will land on the cotton wool. Then you will be picking them up straight away with a set of tweezers, placing them in what your delivery men normally have is a little food flask with some liquid nitrogen in. So your straws can sit in there happily while everything else gets put back. So your flask will then be filled with liquid nitrogen. Your canisters will return to your flask. Whichever canister or pot you want your lost straws in is found, your inventory is checked, everything's back in your flask, hunky-dory. So again, if you've lost straws, don't stress, they will be there. I hope that's a help, I hope it puts your mind at ease. Thank you.